It's about Wheatley, sir. Mm -hmm. What about him? Not drunk again, is he? Oh, no, sir, not Wheatley, sir. It's sick he is. Who are you? Uh, his cousin, sir, just in from Sydney town yesterday. And I guess we ate a bit too much of rich food last night. And when he woke up groaning this morning, he said to me, Harry, will you take over me duties at the bank? All right, man. Uh, Wheatley scrubs the place out and polishes the brass. with it, man? Yes, sir. I'd be needing that friend. I'm looking for a ride, not trouble. Well, you have to admit it is kind of a long way to civilization. Uh, yeah, you got a point there. I was uh, cutting cross country to Bathurst. My horse fell and I had to leave him. It's been a long walk. I'd be mighty happy to pay my fare to wherever you're going. All right. She'll have to ride up here with me. There's no room inside. She's a beauty, like a new lady love. <laughs> ah, that's right, and deserving of the same attention. <laughs> I used to like to work with my hands when I was a kid. Yeah? yeah I worked for a year in a brass foundry in Cootamundra, making things like, like lamps. <laughs> I like that. Well, a man finds something he likes, he ought to stay with it. Yeah. But. Time changes. Men along with it. They sure do. Don't! There are three guns on you. Hello, Reeves. Who's he? Chris Cobb. Owns the stage line. 
Where is it? Where is what? Build up the fire, Neil. Now, look, gentlemen, I don't know what... Assuming we can agree on a fair split, I'll take you right to it. Supposing we search the coach right now. It's not in the coach. I'll take you to it in the morning. Babson, search the coach. Neil, keep your gun on Cobb. If he moves, kill him. Hold on. He's our ticket out of here. Spell it out. Every officer in New South Wales is looking for that loot. And for you. Uh -uh. Not for me. I made sure that bank president knew who to give credit to. I must have made my point, because... Uh, look at this poster I picked up coming through Gilgandry yesterday. Meadows will be interested. What about Cobb? Simple. We ride in the coach with Cobb as insurance we get through safely. He can open all the right doors for us right out of the country. When are you going to learn to trust me, Reeves? I trusted you over that bank job and you went ahead and did it alone. Not there. We'll meet Meadows in the morning and see what he says. What do you say we just uh, skip Mr. Meadows' participation in this little matter? Money couldn't make me feel secure enough to cross him up. We'll camp here for the night, take care of Cobb in the morning. You like living, don't you, Wallace? We'll just stay in your bed tonight. And don't forget to say your prayers. Nobody move! Now, don't nobody else try to be a hero. Mr. Cobb, unhitch the horses. Go on, you're the driver. I've paid my fare. See what you can do for Babson. I'll round up the horses. Well, at least we know where the money is now. What are we stopping for? You better let me have a look at that arm. Now, what would you have in mind, Mr. Cobb? Apart from my welfare, of course. Blood poisoning? I'm even particular about my horses.
easy. I've been wondering about you, Cobb. You don't seem to me the type who'll stand for any pushing around. And yet, so far... And yet, so far, you haven't taken me one step out of the way I'd be going anyhow. station about an hour ahead, fresh horses. Now, why don't you just take one of those and go the rest of the way on your own, eh? Now, that's no way to drum up business for your line. And helping a bank robber escape isn't going to do a lot for Cobb and Company's reputation, either. Just tell your public you had no choice. Neither have I. I'm not up to riding a horse right now. How'd you ever get started on this sort of thing, anyway? Chances are that you could have made it in any legitimate field. It's a sad story, Mr. Cobb. One of those things that happens when you're young and impressionable. There I was camped by the Galava River one night, minding my own business after a weekend in Sydney, when I looked up to see a circle of Queen's officers around me, guns drawn. They accused me of stealing a racehorse from a station owner nearby. Even said the one I had tethered by my camp was the very one. Well? Well, that was the trouble, Mr. Cobb. He was. <laughs> That's a very sad story. Still, I did like that year in the brass foundry. Of course, a lifetime in that business wouldn't bring me a fraction of the wealth I have in my satchel. Would have been one big difference, though. Yeah. You'd have been sure of the chance to spend it. that all about? That's Jack Meadows. He was a friend of mine once. Well, I'm glad I'm not a friend of yours. You could have let him kill me. Mm-hmm. I could have. Meadows and I figured this bank job. Then he brought in Reeves and the others. I didn't like them in. So the day we were going to take the money, I worked out my own scheme and then went ahead a little early. I've Figured I owed you an explanation. Yeah. Come on, Mr. Cobb, let's get out of here.
Here they come. somewhere. If we get that far. We'll make it, Mr. Cobb. We'll make it. Ah, get up. Been thinking about something you said earlier. No? You said, so far, I haven't forced you to go anywhere you weren't going anyway. That's right. What if I do? Yeah, I've been thinking about that, too. I wouldn't like to have to. Listen, mister, since I met you, I've been hit on the head, shot at, had my new coach riddled full of holes, and I have no doubt that we're going to bump into your friends again. And the next time, they'll have all the advantage. Now, I figure the next thing I'm apt to lose is my life. And when it comes to that, your bullet isn't going to hurt any more than anyone else's. Well, that's fair warning. I just thought you'd like to know. Get up. Right, this will do it. Neil, you'll be up there with your rifle. It'll be a pleasure. Babson, over there in those rocks. Right. I'll be on this side of the trail. Right, Babson, you take the horses. are going to make a try for us, it'll be somewhere in the next seven miles. Once past these hills, it's an easy roll into Bathurst. So let them come. Are you asking me to go into this without even a fighting chance? I'll make a suggestion. All right. As of now, it's three against one. But if I have a gun, it's three against two. With the added factor of surprise on our side. But they don't expect me to be armed, do they? Supposing I do give you a gun. That makes our chance to get through a lot better, but... What about when it's over? Well, the only way I can answer that is to say that... I wouldn't give a gun to a man I didn't trust.
Graves is still alive, I think. Pretty bad shape, but I think he'll live. We'll take him into Bathurst with us. Saved mine, so that makes us even. You said you'd never give a gun to a man you didn't trust. That's right. What are you going to do? How long to Bathurst? Four hours. When we get there, I don't suppose you'd uh, just forget all this long enough to give me a start? Mr. Cobb, I'm sorry, but I'll have to leave you here, and you'll have to take care of Reeves. No use, Mr. Cobb. Thanks for taking me this far. Uh, I'll have to go the rest of the way on my own. <laughs> 